thank you for uh, signing in to this webinar. So I'm now going to present the program and you will have the opportunity to also type in some questions that I and the rest of my team will then answer. Who should attend this program? This program is designed for recently appointed general managers and also those aspiring to soon take on a general management role. So either you've just been promoted or you're hoping to get promoted in the next couple of years. And you'll typically be a functional director ready. You could be from any sector or industry and be based anywhere in the world. And in fact, we are trying to get a very diverse mix of uh, industry sectors and countries, which of course makes the classroom experience much more interesting. The benefits to you from this are enhanced confidence in dealing with C-suite executives. So one of the challenges for someone becoming a general manager is that you're now going to be interacting with a more senior level of people and the people at the highest level corporate functions, the chief executive officer, chief financial officer, chief marketing officer, and so on. So becoming a complete executive, and we emphasize this is what we help you to do, become a complete executive, you gain a broader knowledge of all the functional issues that affect a general manager. Because, of course, so far in your career, you have developed primarily within a single function. So this program in two weeks will give you a top-level view of all the key functions involved in being a general manager. And in a few slides' time, I'll show you all the topics that we're going to cover. Then, a special aspect of this program, given that we're at the Imperial uh, College of Science and Technology, we are going to give you an understanding of technology trends that are affecting your business, and perhaps even more important, how to think about using technology to enhance the competitive advantage of your business. And I'll, and I'll explain that a bit more in a couple of slides' time. Another benefit is that you will access the Imperial College network, including our executive education alumni status, which is one of the most valuable uh, alumni network in the world. And it gives you a rare opportunity to take two weeks out to develop and reflect on not only your business, but yourself. Time to really get away from the day-to-day -day and think strategically about your business and the development of your own career. And at the end of it, you'll get a certificate from Imperial College, which is a top 10 global university. Now, those are the benefits for yourself. What about the benefits for your organization? Your organization will get you coming back to work with increased confidence because you've been exposed to the key challenges of general management. The uh, organization will also get the benefit of the transfer of knowledge about frontier knowledge and business issues. And you'll be there to help transfer this knowledge to the rest of the organization. You'll be applying your enhanced leadership skills, and we place a big emphasis on leadership skills within your workplace. And you'll bring back a broadened functional industry and geographic perspective to your organization. So after the two weeks of reflection and self-discovery, you'll return to your organization motivated and inspired. Now, what is unique about this general management program, because of course many business schools have a general management program. Like the others, we've designed this to be the capstone, the highest level of our executive programs. And as I said before, our general management program turns functional directors into complete executives by broadening the participants' knowledge on key functional issues. And it will increase your confidence to have smart conversations with uh, C-suite executives, such as chief technical officers, chief financial officers, and so on. And then our program goes one step further. We are going to pair expert scientists from Imperial College, beyond the business school, with our world-leading business professors to show you the effects that new technologies are having on your business right now and also in the future. Another aspect of this is that our program applies our impact lab philosophy, where we use Imperial's physical resources and scientific expertise to deliver a cross-disciplinary and experiential learning experience. This means you won't just be in the classroom all the time, you'll be uh, going to other venues, uh, some of them may be scientific labs, uh, some of them are in our uh, partner schools. So 
we give you a chance to also prepare for the future in a technology-driven world. Now let's look at the program. So the first three days start with sessions on science. So each half-day session will have a scientist speaking about his or her specialty with an Imperial College business professor sitting in and after the scientist leaves after the first year, hour and a half, the business school professor will take over and discuss the implications for business in an open discussion with the participants. So we're going to have a session on big data. Obviously big data uh, is very important and the many different applications that big data may have, uh, particularly in terms of marketing but also in terms of operations. Smart cities and the Internet of Things. As you know, the Internet of Things is a new technology. We're going to discuss the general applications and particularly in terms of making cities smart. And of course, sitting in one of the world's, located in one of the world's most important cities, we are going to have some very interesting applications that we can show to you. On the Tuesday, we're going to start with robotics and artificial intelligence. It is clear that these two technologies are going to have a very big impact on business uh, from manufacturing all the way through to uh, research and many other things. What are the jobs that are, can be done by robots in, instead of uh, human beings, for example? What are going to be the applications of artificial intelligence? In the, four, in the fourth session on Tuesday afternoon, we're going to look at neuroscience applications which of course has many implications for products related to human health and to human behavior. And then the last science session will be on uh, Wednesday morning when we talk about new materials. There are many new materials being developed that have a lot of implications for products and for manufacturing. So those are the five science-based sessions. We'll then move on to a session that I'm going to talk about myself, globalization. And now let me introduce myself. So I'm a professor of marketing and strategy here at Imperial College Business School, but my research specialty over the last 25 years has been on global strategy. And I've also taught at uh, Harvard Business School, uh, UCLA, um, London Business School, Cambridge University. And I spent the last four and a half years at the top business school in China, where I've been conducting innovation uh, research about innovation in China. And I've this week published a new book on that topic. So I'm going to talk about globalization and international business, but that is such a broad topic, I'm going to talk about it in the context of a single topic of innovation in China and how innovation is allowing Chinese companies to move from imitation to becoming world-class competitors. Then let's look at the rest of the program. On Thursday morning, we'll look at digital platforms and innovation ecosystems. Platform strategy is now a new type of strategy where companies such as Google are now competing on platforms and indeed a major source of the reason why Apple was so successful wasn't just that the iPhone was a superior product, but the iPhone was able to create a platform with the apps, with the companies designing the apps. So we'll learn about how digital platforms and innovation ecosystems can be used to build competitive advantage for your company. We will then have two sessions on finance for general managers on the Thursday afternoon and on the Friday afternoon where we'll look at all aspects of finance but not in terms of becoming a finance specialist but how you as a general manager need to understand finance including how to relate to shareholder value. In as a functional manager you have not particularly been involved with uh, helping contribute to shareholder value. As a general manager, you will have to do this. Then on Friday morning, we'll look at marketing in the digital age. So not just marketing, but how digitization, uh, new media, and all of those aspects are changing the nature of marketing. On Saturday, we will look at the new leadership. Leadership in the new economy flatter organizations, again related to digitization and the internet, we can no longer have command and control, but how are we going to lead in the new economy? And particularly with millennials and the newer generation, who don't want to be told what to do. In the afternoon, we are bringing a uh, world champion in rowing, um, 
a, a, a woman champion in rowing, she's going to talk about how to be a leader in the boathouse as an example, and we will go to a boathouse to see how that actually works. Then the second week, we will look at operations and supply chain on the Monday morning and the Tuesday morning, uh, how to make operations and supply chain a key aspect of your competitive advantage. On the Monday afternoon, we'll look at digital transformation. Again, how do we use digital technologies to transform your business? As more and more companies are doing that. On the Tuesday afternoon, we will look at entrepreneurship, not entrepreneurship, but how to be entrepreneurial within an organization. On Wednesday morning, I will come back and teach again on strategy execution and strategic transformation. It is not enough to formulate a strategy. That's the most difficult aspect is how to execute the strategy. And then secondly, how do you transform a strategy? And again, most companies are not very good at strategic transformation, and many of them fall away, such as Nokia. How do we avoid the fate of Nokia? On Wednesday afternoon, we'll talk about managing innovation. And again, innovation is a key strength of Imperial College Business School, so you will see some of our uh, top research on that. We will, uh, on Thursday morning, have a second session on marketing in the digital age with a different instructor. On Thursday afternoon, we'll have corporate governance, again, from the viewpoint of the general manager. What are the different aspects of corporate governance that you need to know about, including how to relate to the board of directors. And we'll finish up on Friday morning uh, with leadership managing the 2.0 organization. And that, including the previous Saturday session on leadership, will be by Nelson Phillips, professor of management and organization, who is the co-director with me on this program. I'll be with you throughout the program, and Nelson will be with you for some of the program. So, Lastly, some details on the program. It will run for two weeks from the 16th to the 27th of May at our South Kensington campus in London. The fee is £13,145. And lastly, the logistics will have a dedicated program manager. We've planned many interesting evening events as well. So this is the end of uh, my formal presentation. Now's your chance to type in some questions for me to answer. Please go ahead and do that now. So we have a question whether the course is aimed at directors working in large multinational organizations. Yes, um, we are going to cover a wide range of organizations, but certainly for large multinational organizations, but also for smaller ones as well. Now, when we talk about general managers, we're looking at people who are going to become general manager of a unit. So the unit could either be a division within a single country of a large multinational corporation. Or, of course, it could be an entire smaller company. Um, this is not aimed at being CEO of Unilever or of uh, Philips, but of the head of a unit within a multinational like Philips, or you could be the head of a unit within a large professional services firm such as uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers. Does that answer your question, uh, Eraser? One more minute for any more questions, otherwise we'll end the webinar. Thank you very much for attending this webinar, signing off now, and hope to see you on the program.